Google Search Console index coverage. Blocked by robots.txt. We are looking at excluded part of the new Search Console index coverage report. Let's go and press on Blocked by robots.txt. And now, Search Console being our friend, shows us some example URLs. Let's press on one. Block by robots of text means a URL. Google tried to crawl. Has been blocked by robots of text directive. What can we do? We can use page details. Press on test robots of text blocking to see what directive is blocking Google. And the tester shows us, you know what? This directive is blocking Google. What can you do? You can, if you want, delete that line from the tester and test again. And now Google is allowed. We can make the tweaks here, then select all and copy. Go to your web hosting account, press on file manager, go for document root for your website, installation, where you have access to robots.txt file. You can right click, download till you have a backup. Then right click, press on edit. Control A, delete everything. And then paste what you've tested. And you can see Google bot is allowed. And then once you copy all that to your robots.txt file on your server, you can save changes. And then next time, when Googlebot tries to request that URL, it won't be blocked by Google. But remember, these are excluded from Google's index. And it's been blocked by robots at the same time. It is more than likely there is a directive that's within your robots or text file and you should be aware of what that is because obviously it's affecting Google's indexation usually excluded pages is nothing to be alarmed about always triple check the current pages you've submitted first if the current pages that you're submitting to search console is blocked by robots then you need to find out why that is use a tester Make sure Google is allowed. Well, if you don't want to allow Google, then remember, robots.txt file controls crawling for Googlebot. It doesn't control indexation for Googlebot. If you want to not let Google index certain parts of your website, you need to serve no index directly. I'll show you what that looks like so that you see. Let's go to a tag page. Let's say this tag page for a typical WordPress site. I don't want these tag pages to be indexed by you. So at the source code, I serve robots no index. So I'll zoom in so you see what that tag looks like. So once again, if you want to control indexation of certain URLs in Google, then you serve no index because it could be pages that is private pages perhaps reserved for your members or forum members and so on the only way to let Google no index a URL is by serving no index meta tag or serving x robots no index PHP directive robots.txt is only to do with crawling in Google accessing parts of your site. Once again, all known pages may sometimes show this blocked by robots, therefore excluded from Google index. Always triple check your current sitemaps. If they are blocked by robots, then remedy that. I thank you very much for learning with Rankia. Keep in mind, more Search Console related videos can be found on Rankia YouTube channel. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.